Hello, and welcome to the Squirrel Image Map Crash Course. I'm Tom from K15T Software. You probably know that many kinds of images are stored on Confluence pages. You can have org charts to show how an organization is organized, UML diagrams to show software specifications, UI screenshots highlighting specific UI elements, or even normal pictures, for example, from our company trip to the famous Fernsehturm, the TV tower here in Stuttgart. Some images speak for themselves. They do not require any additional information. Instead, they complement written information and help readers understand complex scenarios. But sometimes, images may need further explanation. More details are required to actually understand the image's content. Plus, images are sometimes also used to simplify navigation to specific content. This is where Scroll Image Map comes into play. Let's see how. Let's pretend we have a page called Company Overview in our intranet space. This page shows how our company is organised. Initially, this is a normal Confluence page with a children macro linking to child pages with further information about each of our departments. To flesh out this information a bit more, an org chart would be useful to show how those departments are organised within the company. So, let's add an image. We'll open the page editor upload an image to the page, and insert it. Now, we have an org chart displaying how each single department is linked within our organisation, and a children macro with links to Confluence pages with further information. So far, so good. But, what if we could combine those two? What if we could have the org chart as a visual aid, but also with links directly from the image to pages with the relevant information? This is where Scroll Image Map comes into play. Let's use it to link from this image to the corresponding Confluence pages. To do so, let's edit the page and get rid of the content. Instead, we'll insert a Scroll Image Map macro on the Macros menu. In the initial dialog, we can select where the image is stored. We can choose between the current page, the current space, all spaces in our Confluence system, or an external URL. Let's select current page, and start typing the name of the attachment. It will then display some attached images for us to select. And when we click OK, we can see the selected image in the image map editor. This menu features multiple options. The first three are the three different types of shapes we can draw on the image. We can draw a rectangle, a circle, or a fully customizable polygon. Furthermore, we can control the size of the image, just like in the Confluence editor. We can also define how large it should be displayed within the editor itself. Now, let's create our first shape. As the org chart consists of rectangular elements, we'll select the rectangle shape and put it on the image. We can now add the links to the other pages as well, all within the same image. So now we'll add links to customer service page, the product development page, and the marketing page. All our departments are now linked to the corresponding Confluence pages. After finishing all the shapes, we can check if everything is correct, or change the tooltip or link if needed. All shapes are listed on the right hand side of the screen. Once everything's finished, we can click save. And now, if you mouse over the image, you can see the highlighted areas with the defined tooltips. And if you click the highlighted shape, the linked page will be opened. So now, we've seen how to use rectangular shapes, and how to link to pages within Confluence. Of course, we can also link to pages outside of Confluence, and draw our own custom polygon shapes. Let's take the Stuttgart TV Tower as an example to show this. In this case, we have a page called TV Tower Stuttgart, and the image is already attached to it. So let's edit the page, and insert the scroll image map macro again. Now we can use the shortcut and insert the macro without browsing through the menu. Again, we'll select and insert the attached images. In this case, as the image is quite large, we'll zoom in a bit to draw the polygon. Let's link the dome of the Stuttgart TV tower to the Wikipedia article about the tower. To do this, we'll select the polygon and start drawing. We can change the size by expanding the shape. And we can even add additional points to change the shape as we go on. To do so, simply click the shape and a new point will appear that we can move around. Once we've finished creating the shape, we can enter a tooltip and control where to link to. 
In this example, we'll link to an external URL. And once we save the page, we can see the tooltip. And if we click, the linked Wikipedia article is displayed. Of course, we can also just have a tooltip without linking to a specific page at all. For example, to display additional information directly on the image or screenshot itself. So, that's it. Thanks for watching this Crash Course video. We hope you like what you saw. As always, if you have questions or comments, please get in touch at hello at k15t.com. Thanks again and have a great day.